But what do you think, David, uh, to Ada's question of how we might define or redefine life if we find ET? The fundamental reason why we can't agree on a definition is we only have one example of life. We talk about biodiversity on this planet through one lens, it's huge, but through another lens, there isn't any because it's all stems from apparently one origin and we all have the same, you know, set of biochemical tools. So how do we define something that we only have one example of? I think that one of the wonderful benefits of discovering extraterrestrial life, one thing we will be able to do when we have multiple examples is finally define life. Because once we have multiple examples, then we can do a much more meaningful job of saying, okay, these are the commonalities. These are the characteristics. These things are all life. Here's why. Here's how we define it. So I think the questions are intrinsically linked of trying to define it and trying to find it. And of course, there's a paradox there, because how do you search for something that you can't even say exactly what you're searching for? But that paradox, I think, will be resolved once we have multiple examples. 